So we quickly gonna show you how to measure the location of a window. Um, we've got obstacles on the left, which makes it very difficult to measure exactly where my window is. So I'm gonna measure it from the nearest corner. So I know I'm gonna get my measurement right. I'm not gonna miss something. I'm not gonna fall over stuff. So let's start. I'm gonna measure from the right hand corner to where the window starts. That measurement is 930. I'm gonna write that in. Next thing, when I measure the, the window, I always want three measurements. I want the width of the window, the height of the window, and then lastly, it's important for me to know what the window sill height is. So what is the measurement from the floor to where the window starts? Because often you will find that this might be very close to your counter and you need to keep that in mind. So let's start with the width of the window. The width of the window is 780. I would usually write that above the window. That's all my 780. So I've got the width of my window. I now need to measure the height of my window and I would usually write that inside the window. Easiest way is put your tape measure on the window bottom and then measure up that's going to be 765 765 and I write that inside the window I now need to get the height of my window sill and you will often have a counter that's in the way that's okay we can again take two measurements like we do when there's an oven or something and then in the way so let's measure what my counter height is and my counter height is exactly 900 so I'm gonna write down 900 plus now I'm gonna measure from the top of the counter to the bottom of the window Seven hundred and ten. Seven hundred and ten. There we know what exactly the the height of my window is from the floor up. So we've now got all the measurements we need for our window. We can position that when we do the design. Almost done. One last thing. We need to measure the ceiling height because we often extend our covers all the way to the ceiling. So let's do that. The easiest way to measure ceiling height is to start at the bottom and work your way up. So you take your tape measure, it's flat on the floor, and you use your foot, and then just run your tape up to where the ceiling starts. So here we've got a ceiling height of 2450. We're right there. Ceiling height, 2450. Zero. In this instance, we haven't got a cornice that runs at the bottom of our ceiling. If you do have a cornice, it's always advisable that you give us another measurement, the one that runs up to the bottom of that cornice, because that's basically where your um, cupboards need to end. And that's the wrap. That's how you measure your kitchen. Not that difficult. You send this off to us. Give us an idea of what you want and we're going to start doing a design for you while we're all sitting at the comfort of our home during this difficult time we're going through. Good luck and we'll see you soon.